it's Elise and today I'm going to be attempting to build a house in alphabetical order. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to build from front to back. So we're going to start from the front and we're just going to keep building until we get to the back. The layout of this house is going to be very interesting. I'm going to use this website enchantedlearning.com because they have a bunch of different rooms. I'm not going to build like a room for each letter. That's going to take way too long. But there are some rooms that I didn't even think of like I kind of want to add an attic so I think our first room is going to be an attic I don't know how that's going to work actually since I want this place to be one story how are we going to have an attic as our entrance like how's that going to work I'm wondering if I do something like this and then I add a roof on top see the attic is the roof but in this case uh, I might just have to like delete the ceiling so we actually see the roof line and then for the side, I'll bring out the roof like that and try and continue it like that. So it looks kind of seamless. Okay, so this is our attic. How are we going to do the rest of the house off of this? Because we've got to connect all the rooms to this one. As I said, we're starting from the front and we're just going to keep going to the back of the lot. So we've got to be able to connect all the rooms from this one. I lowered the height level. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. We'll get a front door. Th these front doors take up so much space. I have no clue what the color palette is gonna be like for the outside. I'll just leave that blue. Let's just focus on the inside. So we will change the flooring. Since this is technically an attic, we've gotta make it look like it. So very run down, very gross. It's kind of ironic because people don't go into the attic for years, but this is like the entrance. So people are gonna be passing through this every single day. The attic might have have like one window you know what it probably will have a little bit of a skyline potentially okay you know what not bad I put the door in the middle just for some symmetry okay and now we can get started with the inside the attic would be quite dark I feel oh my gosh my game is bugging of course it is the game won't let me like paint one singular panel like this it's making me paint the whole thing which is making the outside change which is really annoying. So I can't paint this wall the same color as the rest of the walls or else the outside will paint that color too. It wouldn't be The Sims 4 without bugs. Okay, so this wall has got to stay the same as the outside wall. I think my best bet for this room is to use a lot of things from the basement treasures kit. Just a bunch of old furniture. Yes, this is our entrance hall, but that doesn't mean it's gonna look glamorous. I'm also gonna keep this wall pretty clean and pretty like empty because this is where we're branching off of to get to other rooms so I'm gonna add some like cracks and stuff to the wall because again this is the attic it's not gonna look the nicest it almost looks like sims were moving in because we've got like this moving trolley all the furniture's kind of like scuffed around oh and moving boxes yeah it looks like sims are just moving in we've also got very limited light other than the like little skylight that I put in there's no light lighting up this place so maybe some wall lights what would you have in an attic would you have wall lights no, you probably have floor lamps right little like lanterns on the floor so nothing great to be honest I might put one wall light just so there's a little bit extra light how does it look at night okay not bad so this would be our entrance this would be the entrance to this house not the greatest maybe one window I don't know why but I'm kind of feeling this horse ranch window it's got like bars in it it's not giving attic but it's definitely better than some of the other options I was looking at so I'll keep it like this for now but it is subject to change okay so we have our beautiful entryway not our entryway our attic which is the entrance to our house next we've got B and I'm thinking we do bathroom and we do a bedroom not a child's bedroom or the master bedroom because that's like m and c this one's just gonna be a bedroom i'm not gonna label it as guest bedroom because guest is a g so again just bedroom and also a bathroom so we've got to do the bathroom first because that one is ba and bedroom is be oh a boiler room could be fun too but i'll, I'll see how the layout is looking so here is my plan we do the bathroom on this side like a, a decent sized bathroom and then oh wait how are we gonna get to the bedroom all this stuff is blocking it okay we're gonna have to move the stuff 
to this corner and then we'll have like a decent sized bedroom over here i might even move that along a little bit and then we can save this spot for whatever's next so i'm gonna move this stuff along just so it isn't in the way of the bedroom and then i can get some doors in right at the edge i should probably save this area as well because we're gonna get a door here at some point okay so we've got two doors this way bathroom first honestly this house doesn't really have like a style yet so i don't really know what style i should go for i'm not used to doing the bathroom before like the outside of the house or like the living room or anything so this is very new to me this is gonna be a family home so i'm gonna try and make it a little bit cozy we should probably get some sort of window in here as well. Green and white is apparently the theme that I've chosen. So I'm gonna go along with it. Do we need to? No, this isn't the ensuite. I've been really enjoying decorating like the sides of my sink. So like I'll put a counter on the side and then I'll just go ham with decor on the side. Okay, cute. I'm gonna keep this light there and then... We should probably have a shower bath shower combo because we're gonna have a nursery so i'll put that there and then that gives space for the toilet i added some extra inventory because i have no clue if i'm gonna have space for a pantry or anything like that so extra inventory is always good i should probably put a curtain on this window since it is the bathroom Oh, and I didn't even put like a little rug or anything. I'm going to use this one from Parenthood. I swear I always use this rug. It's just so convenient for bathrooms. And it is quite dim in here. I might put an extra light. I've only got wall lights in here. I don't know why. And these candles on the counter. I don't have any overhead lighting. Is that a mistake? Maybe. But I kind of like the vibe. It's kind of dark, kind of like dim, but not like in a creepy way it's it's just like the right amount of light okay i'm gonna leave the bathroom like this we do have space over here for another door just in case we need it now onto the bedroom i'll continue the floorboards in here and then since this isn't like a specified room like a child's bedroom or anything I'm just gonna do something simple nothing too like extreme oh what are we gonna do for windows i think logically from the outside oh my gosh look at it from the outside we're gonna have to try and make this look good after but yeah from the outside a window here wouldn't make sense oh let me bring these in but yeah a window here wouldn't make sense so i oh a window here might not even make sense because we might end up expanding over here so I think I'll just focus on this side. I like this window from Discover University. There is a little bit of glitching, but you know what? It looks good. Okay, this is what I've come up with for the bedroom. It's nothing crazy. It's just a bedroom. It could be a, a room that the owners of this house rent out. Or it could be a like guest room, which we're not going to call it a guest room because again, that's a G. It's just a bedroom. So yeah, this is what I've come up with now next i could do a boiler room but you know what we're just gonna skip that let's go on to see i don't really see anything that i want to add a conservatory could be cool but like in the middle of the house i don't know d we've got the dining room which actually could be great because then we can connect this part of the house to the rest of it at the back where you kind of like walk through the dining room to get to it so I can make this whole room the dining room. Add a door here and we can like branch off this way, branch off this way, branch off this way. And the house can have some sort of fluidity. You know what? I might even have a door to the bathroom go there and then move the light. Actually, that doesn't make any sense anymore. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to like add a plant or something. Yeah, so if I do this, we will have a door coming from the bathroom into the dining room. And then we won't have like three doors next to each other from the attic. I'm using that with quotation marks because it's not really like in the ceiling, but I'm still classing it as an attic. So I kind of want an archway instead of a door. Give the place a little bit more of an open feel. And then uh, let me get some lights. I'll add some spotlights. We'll bring the flooring in. You know what? I should probably like change the direction of the flooring. So it's like that. Wallpaper. I don't even know. This house is turning out very brown and I don't mean to do that on purpose. Oh, the dining room is going to have no windows because if we branch off from all these different places, then there will be no light coming through. That means we're gonna have to make up for it with artificial light. So let's start off with a dining table. I'll get like a decent size one. We don't need anything huge. 
Or I could put it like over here actually. You know what, I wanna change it to this one. This one gives me more family vibes. Again, a lot of brown. I need a rug to separate that. We'll do white chairs and I don't know if uh, doing chairs at the end is a good thing or not because how are we gonna branch off? There isn't like enough space. What if I make it one bigger? Okay, and put it in the middle and then let me get some doors. So if I have a door going that way and then I have another door going this way. Oh, the bedroom door would make more sense here, right? I guess so. Okay, I'll get one of these rugs like going through. I don't know if I like that color. No, no more brown. Or like at least not as prominent of a brown. Okay, the gray kind of works. Let me like spice up this little, I don't know what I'll call this, little hallway area, which is the dining room. It's not actually a hallway because it, it's technically the dining room so we're technically doing this in alphabetical order still we're slowly but surely getting away from the constant brown i say as i put something with brown frames on the wall you know what this is good enough for me i don't know why i'm trying to make this build look any better it, it doesn't make sense we literally enter the house through the attic like there's no coming back from that it, it's this is a sealed deal you know what i'm gonna leave it like this it got so planty like it always does with my builds okay what was that the dining room so let's move on e <laughs> we could do the entry or we could do an entrance from the side of the house that's a thing but you know what the the attic is already the entry it's confirmed it's staying i could do an ensuite because if i don't then we only have one bathroom if i were to do an ensuite it'd have to be an ensuite from this bedroom and not the master bedroom or we could make the ensuite here. And then once we get to master bedroom, we do it like, like this. So everything that we do currently has to come from this side. <laughs> everything until we get to M. Oh, I should put another door back here. So before I get started with any other room, I'm gonna shrink this down, put that in the corner and put another door here. I'm definitely gonna have to play test this place. So we've got three doors. So we don't have to just keep it coming from the side. We can also expand out down this way. And then once we do the master bedroom, then we could do this or something like this. Okay, that makes sense. So let's do a quick ensuite. This bathroom's got a very, very different vibe to the last bathroom because this is like the his and hers bathroom. I don't know why I shrunk this down. Female Sims and male Sims are literally like the same. So yeah, it's very black and white compared to the family bathroom that's very colorful with the greens and the golds and the blacks. But okay, ensuite is done. I might actually change the light intensity of the bathroom because it's already Pretty so cold with the color palette. I might warm it up a little bit with the lighting. Okay, next we go down to F. We could do a formal dining room, but we've already got a dining room. A foyer, again, doesn't make sense. So let's go down to G. Oh, a game room, a guest room, a garage, a gym. <gasps> A gym would be fun. Let's see if we can do a gym. So the gym would have to come off of either here or here. I think here kind of makes sense, right? So I would, I wouldn't make it too big. It's like a small house, a small little gym with some windows. That could be fun. I'll do like a window here and some windows here and you enter through the living room. And I don't think I will put a door coming from the gym to like a room out here. It would be weird to have to walk through the dining room, through the gym to like out here to whatever this room will be. So I'll keep it as this being our main hallway. Okay, I guess this family is getting a gym. An overhead spotlight. Actually, no, let me use like this light. Yeah, this is kind of more, it's giving me gym vibes. Every time I build a gym, I always use this Discover University flooring. I don't know, it just works. Like this is the type of flooring I feel like you would see at a gym. I'm gonna try and keep the windows kind of like repetitive. I. Is it like gonna work? I don't know, but we'll do like this. So we've got a lot of light and air coming through. Now we need some exercise equipment. I'll do like one treadmill. This room is pretty small, so I don't know how we're gonna fit <laughs> half of the stuff. I might actually put a yoga mat in here. That might actually be nice. Let's get a couple mirrors because I feel like that's quite important. Okay. Oh, and let's get some curtains for these windows. You know what, I always forget about curtains. Every time 
I build every single time. All right, gym's looking pretty good. I, yeah, I think I'm good with it. Moving on, we can, oh, we can do a hallway. Oh, that's big because that will connect a bunch of other rooms and it will come off of the dining room. So let's say I do something like this and we have a hallway running all the way along and maybe I might, I might do like a T shape. So I have a hallway like that and then I have a hallway like this and it's all one room technically. So if theoretically, I'm not like finalizing this, if this was like the master bedroom, this whole area then we could have another room coming off of here this could be like the kitchen the living room could be like right at the end like that and then we can have another room coming off of this hallway okay that's actually not a bad idea so i'll make this hallway a little bit smaller and i think i'm just gonna redo everything i did in the in the dining room because that's basically a hallway like let's be honest i'm also gonna get an archway instead of a door just to keep some sort of like flow get a nice little window over there i won't put a window here but i could put a window no, if that's where the living room's going, then maybe not. But I'm not sure if that's where the living room's going. I'll just keep one window here. This is 100% the easiest room we've had so far. I literally, I don't even need to put anything. Oh, I could put a little desk here and put this little end table on this side. Get a cute little mirror to go above. And then let's get a little desk. A nice little desk for the kids to get their work done or just for like family gaming or anything. It's cute. Now, how do I feel like this? space should i just put like a bunch of bookshelves wherever there isn't a door there will be a bookshelf and of course we cannot forget our dear best friend's plants how no okay the hallway doesn't look amazing i tried to fill up the space the best way that i could but you know what it's best to have space for the doors to the other rooms than for it to be overcrowded and we can't fit a door in you know it's best to be safe than sorry now we're done with h i and j isn't they're not looking great oh kitchen kitchen is next so where should the kitchen be you come from the dining room into the hallway or the kitchen would go well on this side and then the living room on this side okay i might move this bookshelf along so we get a little doorway over here and then i can start building from this way so a pretty big kitchen should i keep this whole side the same oh my gosh look at this these stairs what is this and how am i gonna roof this just for the sake of roofing this place i'm gonna keep this whole side the same like length i'll continue the windows over there and maybe i can get a window here okay this kitchen's kind of cute we don't really need a table because we've already got the dining room so i definitely think i can work with this i'm gonna take the like tiles that i used in the ensuite and put it in the kitchen just so something is cohesive are oh, we gonna do a black and white kitchen no this is supposed to be like a family home we need some color in here i could just imagine that while the parents are cooking you know making dinner the kids are sitting down doing some homework and the parents could potentially be helping them from afar just that presence alone would make like the kitchen feel a lot more homey that's why i like the idea of having this little like i don't know this sit down breakfast nook almost okay well here is the kitchen i left one counter free with no clutter so your sims can actually cook and the little like kids like work nook it's just super cute i really like it okay let's move on we've done kitchen should we oh a library a laundry room we've already got bookshelves in the hallway so i guess we don't really need a library a laundry room would be cool but i'm not bothered to build it so let's just move on to the living room as i said earlier the living room can come from this part of our hallway just like so it doesn't have to be like huge because we're not putting a dining room in there and it's not gonna have like the kitchen in there i'm gonna get this huge archway though i'll put it from this way and let's get the exact same flooring let's get a huge tv no i don't think this family would have like such a big tv but we could get something like this oh and a fireplace hell yeah i didn't expect to go so blue with this room it just ended up happening but this is the main living room. It's kind of cozy. It's kind of family, I guess. A little bit planty as is the rest of the house, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It's not my best work, but it is what it is. Okay, now what should we do next? 
Oh, we could do the master bedroom. Finally, I feel like I've been waiting to do this for ages. So as we originally planned, we're gonna do it off of the ensuite and I guess extend it all the way down here and add this little room too. Maybe we can make this into like a little walk-in closet situation. So I'm gonna get some spotlights in and the exact same flooring not the rug the floor with wallpaper i haven't done a room that's a little bit darker but i don't know if the master bedroom would be that dark i feel like it would be quite light and airy oh we could get quite a few windows in bring in a bunch of lights which this house needs it let's get a pretty good quality bed should we just do like basic but basics kind of boring you know what maybe i should do the little walk-in first i'm just gonna like grab a bunch of these or should i use the ones that come with a dream home decorator i could probably just use this actually this is from a uh, high school years yeah i feel like that makes a little bit more sense let me just swap this out for his and hers a cute little fur rug wouldn't hurt okay i can't like section it off with a wall because then it would technically be another room so it has to be open so it's technically following the rules i might actually bring this brick in here actually no i don't like that now i finished up the master bedroom it looks very different to what you guys saw like the last thing you guys saw I forgot to add a door so I had to get rid of the little walk-in wardrobe neck and connect it to the hallway I can't believe I forgot to add a door it's actually the next day for me I like to record especially when I build I like to do it over two days so I have time to reflect and come back with like fresh ideas but yeah this is the master bedroom very planty and I realized for G we didn't add a garden and we didn't add a greenhouse which would have been perfect for this house but it's too late we can't go back because we passed those letters okay next i want to do a nursery for a child or we could do an office for o or a pool room <gasps> A pool room could be a lot of fun. What about a sunroom? I wasn't able to do a garden or a greenhouse, but a sunroom I could do. Okay, I think we're gonna do nursery, then office, then sunroom. So first for the nursery, to get to the nursery, I think it's gonna have to come off of this hallway. I think potentially a room could come off of the living room as well, like the office could come off the living room. And then the sun room could potentially come off of the kitchen. Like we could have a door here. I don't know if that will work. Like a massive sun room going over this corner. I don't know, we'll see. Let's first try out the nursery. The nursery does not have to be big. I think that's a good size. We get some more windows and then we definitely got to do the door. I'm not forgetting the door again. Now this room is going to be for a newborn baby. I don't know why, when I make nurseries, I love using this wallpaper from Parenthood. It's just so good. Like the swatches just, they just hit. So we can get a little crib over here with a cute little like bassinet. This is the one from Ralph of magic actually i might get rid of the crib since you know they're gonna be a newborn baby so they don't really need a crib just yet i'll add this like ikea looking shelf and then i can add a little baby things like wipes on top and we can get some diapers as well also put a little nappy bin i know your sims don't need it until the baby is an infant but i think it's kind of more realistic that way i actually really like how the nursery turned out it's got good space so once the child not child the baby turns into an infant or even a child there is enough space to remodel the room add a crib and a changing table but yeah this is the nursery now moving on which is going to be the office which i think we should do it off of the living room so the office doesn't have to be big i think that's good enough and these windows aren't valid anymore so i'm gonna push them back here from the living room just so like it makes sense we need a door i'm actually gonna i'm not gonna get rid of this i'm gonna move it back and get us a door just here i'm hoping sims will be able to get past this you know what knowing sims they probably won't be maybe like this hopefully this works i guess i'm, I'm gonna have to play test this build because there's so many things that might have to change because it might not work i'm thinking i put an easel 
and a guitar in the master bedroom. So maybe these parents are artists, but they also like plants. That's what I'm going with. We also have like a computer setup in the hallway. So this office actually doesn't just have to be about computers. We could make it into a little mini like art studio. That could actually work out kind of cute. I don't know how, but the office turned into a mini craft room. Like we've got a lot of crafting stuff in here, but you know what? It is technically the office and it's kind of cute it's very artistic for the artist we've also got some knitting over here so yeah it's cute i like it let's move on to the last room actually which is the sunroom now i we have no space coming off of the hallway anymore unless i did it from here which i guess we don't need this anymore since we have the office but like i don't want to change things like i don't want to get rid of stuff intentionally because we finished the hallway so if i get rid of this whole desk i don't know it feels a little cheaty to me but i can add a door over here from the kitchen oh my gosh that is a tight squeeze will this even be accessible i don't know if this is gonna work like look at that <laughs> but we'll try so if we're gonna do like a sunroom then it's gonna have to come off of here um and we can like connect it to the nursery a little bit oh but then we're gonna be blocking this window i mean it is what it is i guess so this whole area would be just like a glass roof and then massive windows and what does the sunroom even look like okay so you have furniture in there some are very planty which ours will be planty i don't know if we're gonna grow you know i could put a few pots like planter pots in there it's kind of like a like an indoor porch situation okay so if we were going to do that that means you know i'm gonna keep these windows from the kitchen because they will be getting light since I'm just going to put a bunch of windows on the outside. Oh, I really like these windows. Are we getting enough like light from them though? I'll get some tiling in here. And you know what? Maybe I should do the roofing over this part. Just this part for now. Because it's technically a part of the room. Like to make it a fully functioning sunroom, it's got to have the glass roof. Which roofing is going to be a mission. Okay, we've got a bunch of light coming from above. And so let's get something on the walls maybe some sort of like brick most of the sunrooms i saw online had like outdoor furniture indoors so i'm gonna try and replicate it the best i can oh should we have some sort of light we should probably have some sort of pendant light up above oh you know what wall lights this area would be so good with some wall lights around so does it take too much away from the natural light that's coming in from the roof i was gonna put a rug here but i feel like that looks kind of odd like a rug being in the sunroom maybe i just size this one down and i put it there on like an angle okay that doesn't look like too bad you know what? i might leave it like this okay so this is our little sunroom you've got like the roofs up top you've got a bunch of plants and i even put some plant pots here so your sims can do some gardening the only thing is is it weird having like the kitchen windows right here like you have the kitchen window and you're looking into the sunroom is that odd i feel like it kind of is but you know what i'm not changing it because then the kitchen would just be really dark okay so we've finished all of the rooms we've done them in alphabetical order now i've just got to figure out the roofing and like the landscaping i also haven't painted any outside walls other than this area this little attic which isn't really an attic but we're just gonna call it an attic. So I'm gonna try and make this place look nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible. Like how the hell am I gonna roof this? The monstrosity that is this roofing is actually really hard to look at. Like, look at this. <laughs> this looks so chaotic. And this is the final house. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not like the biggest fan of the landscaping. I kind of went crazy with the landscaping but you know what it looks decent i did the outside and yeah this is the house the atrocious roofing this is like a little like floor plan look at what it looks like honestly it's actually pretty big i didn't expect this house to turn out so big but yeah i did change a few things like the position of the dining table just to make sure that sims can go past it I have play tested the house so i'm pretty sure mostly everything works if you guys want to download the house it will be on the gallery my origin id is in the description and if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next video